welcome to the final Halloween special for 2023. Um, and we've got a bit of an experiment tonight. Hope it goes well. Um, we're going to play some Dreamcast games. Dreamcast Horror. Uh, but it's with a different emulator that we don't normally use. So um, who knows what might happen. There isn't a plan B though. So if it doesn't work, it's just going to be a random... Random assortment, or we might play my favourites or some such. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and I've still got this cough. Let's get over to the other screen over there, shall we? And then we'll um, we'll see quite how this uh, this experiment's going to go. There we are. And uh, yes, we'll be playing our Dreamcast games on on the emulator Redream. Um, but I can't open, can't open a bunch at once. So, a little bit behind the scenes with um, with OpenMU, I can have all tonight's games open and just flick between them. But this time, I'm gonna have to open each one separately. So, and at least one of them crashes Redream, and I can't remember which one it is. Um, <laughs> so. Let's uh, let's see what happens when we try and start a game and um, hijack it for your benefit, shall we? Oh, I, I, and I keep doing that as well. Scrolly wheel doesn't like the scrolly wheel. Oh, that's just one tiny scroll that, of the sc scrolly wheel. Um, come on. It, it, ah, hang on. Let's just try this. Okay, right. So we're gonna we're gonna work it with the pad for now. Um, mm, mm, what's the first one I'm looking for? The first one I'm looking for is Evil Dead. Hail to the King. That's what we're gonna start with, according to my list. Um, so let's let's start it and see what happens. Is it going to stay hijacked to... Yes, yes, it looks like it might. Okay, so it's super tiny though, isn't it? It's going to use the size for me. It's going to work on the size for you. Oh, there's the other. Look at that. Right. Am I insane? I wouldn't necessarily say I'm crazy, simply because I've heard the voices and battled the godless things in the woods. But I must be crazy to believe. It all started with that damn book, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis, roughly translated, The Book of the Dead. The Book of the Dead? Inked in human blood and bound in flesh. The book contained bizarre burial rites, prophecies, and demon resurrection passages. I hope it's not too loud for you. Professor um, Raymond Noby unearthed the book. I don't know how to turn it down. And brought it to this remote cabin where he could translate it. He awoke something dark in the woods, something evil. It got the professor. Then, it came for me. It got into my hand and it went bad. So I lopped it off at the wrist. The professor's daughter, Annie, helped me fight the evil. Using the book, we opened up a vortex to send the evil back. It worked, big time. The girl died and I got a first class ticket to the 12th century. Okay. I led a war against an army of deadites then used the book to get back home, back to Dearborn. Even got my old job back. Not to mention, I met a great gal, Jenny, assistant manager, arts and crafts. We were the perfect match. But then, the nightmares came. For years, they haunted me, even when I was awake. Jenny thought I was crazy, but she agreed to help. We decided to go back to the cabin, back to where it all started. 
She said it would be good to face my fears. Foolish. Big mistake. So, after Evil Dead 3 then. Now, I, I did have a Dreamcast. Um... Press the friggin' start button, would ya? Right. I, don't, I, I don't remember ever playing this, and it just felt like a game I would have got. Let's just see if we've got. Come get some. 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 Let's turn it down a little bit. Um. Come get some. Nope. There we go. Let's go. Okay. At first everything looked the same. Like nothing ever happened. That was too quiet, innit? I wondered if all of it had just been a bad dream. Boy, was I wrong. Jenny's out there somewhere. Alive. I can feel it. If I can find the pages from the Necronomicon, I might be able to send the evil back and undo this whole mess once and for all. Okay. Oh, you know how I feel about an inventory on a game. <coughs> All right. How do you, oh, oh, it's this. It's is it called tank controls? Oh. I think I've played a Resident Evil like this, where I'm pushing, no matter where I am on the screen, if I want it to go forward, I have to push forward with the stick. And then turn him round with the same stick. Come get some. Okay, I don't really know. Fuck off. To go back in there and see what it dropped. Oh, stop jumping around like a. Oh, it's annoying. Oh, I can't pick it up. Let's go. No, don't want to go. I don't want to pick that up. All right, I think I think we probably need to use that, don't you? There we go. Um, I will say it feels a little bit laggy from from my side. Um, oh, oh, what an annoying control. Yo. Okay, we've got one page. Did I just use another friggin' health kit? Ah, do you know what's super weird? What's super weird is that when it lags for me, it's all right for you guys, by the looks of it. Oh, for 
God's sake. Is there a better way of controlling him? Right, our stick doesn't do anything. Right, on my screen, that took a while for it to pop through. So... Come get some. Let's go. Come get some. Let's go. Yo. All right, was there somewhat flashing back here? No, there wasn't. That's fine. Do we leave? Come get some. Oh, is that? Ooh, if it's the same cabin, it should be a trap door. Yes. Let's go. Yo. Can't open the trap door. Now. So. Oh, God's sake. Let's go. Yo. I only have one attack one. Shoulder buttons don't look like they do anything. Oh, started my chainsaw. Did I start? One of these buttons started a chainsaw. We, we didn't save a game, no? Disappointing. Do I want to start Let's again go. from scratch? I'm not sure I do. At first everything looked the same, like nothing ever happened. I wondered if all of it had just been a bad dream. And Boy, was I wrong. He's loud now. Why? I didn't turn the volume back up. Whoa! Oh. Come down. Oh no, yes, not again. Huh? Damn it, it won't shut off. Sobar. Gata. Nos gata. Jenny. <coughs> oh shit. Missed that bit. And we missed the rest. So press that. Jenny's out there somewhere. Yeah. Alive. Alive. Come get some. 
Okay. So. Right, so I've got... Ah. And that turns it off. And there is something. There is something. What's... Oh, what? Referee. Look at that. If I'd pick the tape up. Okay, so there's a ghost in here, isn't there? get some. Well, there you go. That was uh, that was um, Evil Dead. Hail to the king, baby. Um. Okay. Nope. Oh no! Oh no! I've just deleted the directory. That would be bad. Okay. Let's just leave well alone, shall we?
I want to click games, not library. Uh, okay, next on the list then is Ill Bleed. So. I'm sure you, you, I'm sure you agree it's um, smoother um, having them all open already. And of course, if I've been flicking past any and you've you've seen one and you've gone oh you know that'd be good then let us know we can always put it on the list for future dreamcast shows uh, ill bleed let's see what the screen looks like whether it's gonna need any messing with Okay, what's this about? Should have probably turned the sound down as well. For as long as I can remember, my family ran what we called a horror caravan. We hauled this house of horrors around from town to town, trying to give people a new thrill. A new nightmare. I kind of like traveling, but all that gruesome gore got to me after a while. My dad was always conjuring up new devices, tricks, and traps, each one scarier than the last. <laughs> Guess who he tried them out on? Yep, me. I guess it toughened me up a little. Yes, I mean, you have to be brave to walk through a den of snakes or try to avoid trap doors to make it to your room. I was a pretty fearless kid by the time I was five, thanks to my fearsome father. He fed on others' fears and was never satisfied. My mom couldn't stand how obsessed he'd gotten, <coughs> so she thankfully divorced him when I was six. Thanks, Yet man. I had gotten attached to horror. I remember how that good old Halloween pillow and a hot red water bath soothed me. I think I might major in child psychology. Hmm. So, how'd I do? That was great! I mean, you're the head of the Horror Research Club and... President of the Student Council. It's a given. You win this speech contest for sure. Randy Fairbanks. Hey everybody, you gotta see this. What, Michelle? Why didn't you listen to Erico's speech? I don't need to. I know she'll win. Here, take a look at this. Those are guest invitations to Illbleed. How'd you get them? From a Pepco promotion. Kill! Look, we can win a hundred million bucks there. Yeah, if we can manage to get through the whole park, it's that is. No on. sweat. I'm game if you are. Sure thing. I'm with ya. Whoa, whoa. <coughs> what about you, Erico? I think I'll pass. It sounds too good to be true. Why? You just said in your speech to conquer your fear and surpass the odds. Come on, we can test your theory. Sounds like we're trying to be superheroes or something. It's no biggie. It's just a house of horrors. Probably full of cheesy props and gags. Which proves what's so weird about this. What How can a funky place wrong? like that afford a hundred million dollar reward? Who knows? Maybe they'll make it take so long to get through it, everyone will give up, go home, and the horror honchos will end up with a lot of free publicity. Or else the whole thing is a hoax, and they don't have the money at all. I agree with him. I'm down with that. I'm not voting or going. For real? Are you positive? You sure? Yep, you heard me. 
Okay, your highness. Then we three humble slaves shall bring back the one hundred million dollars, and you'll be sorry. I can't wait to commune with the undead. I'd use the money for a chainsaw and hack my way into fame and fear. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, brother. Okay, then. We'll catch you later, Eriko. Let's, Let's go! go! Tempted. Excuse me, did you see three high school kids around here three days ago? They had special invites. What? <laughs> Go through the place at the big gates. Wow. Holy fucking shirt balls. Um is there a way of there's no way of changing that, is there? Does select do? Oh, select is fast forward. Oh, I thought there might be a way of um... turning the sound down. the ER, I think that's a gentleman. I mean, at least it's not massive loud music, but... like a save area or some shit. Oh, just want to find my friends. forward and to the right. From where? Forward? Oh no, that's less than four. Nope. How do we see the lessons? Yeah, I don't need to see that. There's an obvious lesson there, why can't I read it? There we go.
so it used the trigger button, didn't it? Looking through her head, my six senses. Hi. Seems a weird thing to have as a button, a map. So I've got jump and map as a useful things at the moment. Right, so that's all of them. But when I go into here, it's... Oh, it's none of them. So it feels to me like... Thank you. 
seems to suggest that I will need to get through those doors, doesn't it? How, how do we do that? No oh, fucking map. says Really? Slight excitement. Honestly, that music's doing my boxing. Um, so I think, I think we'll stop it there. Um, <coughs> and maybe one day, one day, we might learn what we're supposed to do, and we'll come back to it. But not tonight, Josephine. So, what's next on our list? Oh, you see, we're getting we're soon getting to a point where I'm going to wish I had some input from Nutty Cluster, but um, it is not to be. So, let's go to um, our next one, which is Kiss Psycho Circus. And I'm hoping it doesn't have a lot of kiss music, which will get this um, this video demonetized, or it'll have some weird cuts in it. So you know, if you're watching this video on YouTube and there's some weird cuts, then it's Kiss's fault. Okay, let's check it out. Psychosis. 
Circle, circus, kiss, kiss, say, ba 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 ba. I think that will be fine, don't you? One assumes these are these are hard difficulties, little difficulty levels. So obviously we'll pick lullaby. Bad streets, bad streets. Okay. Oh, what have we got here? <gasps> Fight and jump are uh, shoulder buttons. So let's move. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Fire buttons. And move. Forward, left and right and back. Oh, how annoying. Hey Dreamcast, what's with all what's with all the freaky control systems? Hey, hey, what is it? I'm going to end up looking at the ceiling or on the floor all the time at this rate. Let's jump. Let's just jump that one. Oh, I don't have enough strength to jump onto the stage. What? Why? Why do I not? gonna make our diff our game different the developer said I know let's change the control scheme so that it's weird oh yeah good idea that let's do that what if we put the move on the fire buttons and what if we if look up and down with a stick that they normally Fire uh, walk around with you. Yeah, makes sense. Let's do that. Choppy choppy. Okay. Nope. Where am I? Where am I looking now? Yep. This one assumes there's something to shoot somewhere. the bar oh fuck's sake <laughs> ok 
Okay, stupid game. Um, well, where now? Let's back, back door to this joint. Wow, I'm not even near anything and it's making a noise. Thing. That's better. Did I get any benefit from that at all? No, I did not. Well, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Come on. the drums not with my big sword at least let me hit a symbol come on Maybe I should check behind the bar. All right, now we're talking. Thanks. Game obviously knows I'm a complete... Right. Well, what's what's the pull down pull down on the massive switch? I've only got jump, choppy chop, forwards, backwards, and come on, you've got you've got the other hand. Why why can't you? Fast forward. Right. So why, why, why give me a big switch? Don't let me do anything with it. Not missing a button, am I? A Dreamcast only had four buttons and two shoulder buttons. Oh, it's making my brain hurt. Um, is is this? Do I need to pick up something else? Not like it. Oh, whoa, what? <coughs> right, I don't know how that switch went. Now we know what all the chittering noise was. Uh, right, so that's jump. <laughs> I 
No, I don't want to be looking down. Can't hit the iron crates. Pointless. Am I going to wish I'd got... I left them crates so I could jump up. Oh, fuck. Um. Chitinous creatures. Why did it have to be chitinous creatures? Come on. Took a beat in then. Gonna need some health. this on the wall purple spinny things don't know what they were but I just died, didn't I? Um Yeah, it's it's word control is um irritating. Irritating, that's the word. Irritating. Uh, okay. So We'll move further down the alphabet now. And this this is where um, Nutty Cluster would have come in handy because on my list, I've put Resident Evil 2 or 3. And I understand that Resident Evil isn't a game that we can just play. We can, I mean, we can put it on and we can have a walk around. But um, all these games actually have got, a, like, long complex stories and stuff so um, so let's go with the newest the, the the most modern one shall we assuming code for i'm sorry i don't really know my resident evil history 
Uh, but we'll go for Resident Evil 3. Because we're only just going to get a little taster and a moose bouche if you will. Okay. Uh-oh. You. Oh, I guess I guess I pressed select and we were on fast forward. Does that have a little music? It's got no way of turning it down though. Disappointing. Well, it's good that you can select your costume. Whoa, hey, what do we fancy? Let's just start. It all began as an ordinary day in September. Always does. An ordinary day in Raccoon City. A city controlled by Umbrella. City controlled by Raccoons. No one dared to oppose them. And that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions. But there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true yeah. that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. Enough story. Enough story. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night. My tolerance for story is quite low now. Not done so bad so far today.
Both shoulder bones do the same thing. Missing on my controller. Do you know what? I can't be bothered trying to work it out. We'll have a look and we'll come back to it. Um, because if you've no doubt gathered, my cough started to uh, get worse. Um, because it's night time and it seems to do that weird. So we're going to play uh, our next game and we're going to hope it's easier to play. <laughs> yep. Do you know, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to wish that I'd started um, at the bottom and worked my way up. So, so what we're going to play now is Spawn in the Demon's Hand. Yes, yes. <laughs> Well, it's got an arcade mode, so that's promising.
fighty game, innit? You will destroy your enemies now. Behind me. Jinky Scooby. Spawn. Spawn. Uh, this this uh, obviously feels to me like a early predecessor. Spawn. Uh, feels very fort uh, fort. Fortnite -y. Battle Royale. <coughs> Jesus, sorry about that. Uh, difficulty. All right, let's get it down to that. Can you see anywhere where it says turn the sound down a little bit? That's not volume, though, is it? See what tournament mode is, shall we?
Watch up to me now. Hello. Oh, what? My turn. Stage clear. when there's a computer playing with me. Thank you can handle me. Now. Oh, my God. 
Well, there we go. Spawn. Spawn on, 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 on. Um, yeah, bit of spawn. There. Do that. Um, okay, uh, and let's just try our final game of this, this evening. Shall we? Let's shall um right down to the bottom with this one i know it looks like i'm going to the top but that's because i was using the mouse instead of this pad and no, that just that again uh. so right down to the bottom we have a zombie revenge Now, the Dreamcast did come with a light gun, which I have. Not sure I've got a telly I can make it work on, but I do have a light gun. Um, and this might be a shooty one. Select players. Do I get any choices? Linda Rota. Linda Rota. Are we still following this guy? He's the one making the zombies. To catch him, we have to follow. Let's go. Girl. Here, take this. <coughs> A man with golden eyes said to give it to you. How did I get myself into this mess? 
Antidote. Shotgun. <coughs> Something's here. Is that another zombie too? Where do I do that? Where do I do that? Bullets. Let's go. Where were those two when I needed help? I have a bad feeling about this.
That was very fair. Forgive me. Continue. Oh, do you know what? No, we're not continuing. We are going to say that's it for this evening. Yes, we're going to go here and we're going to say Happy Halloween. I hope you've enjoyed our, our Halloween uh, specials during October. Um, ooh, ooh. Who knows what we're going to do next week? I think we'll probably do one more Disney show and then we'll go back to the wheel for a couple of weeks. And then it'll soon be time for Christmas. Yes. Um. Okay. So if you uh, <coughs> if you want to email us, you can. It's retro at snugradio.co.uk. The website is snugradio.co.uk. If you're watching this on YouTube, you know we're on YouTube. If you're watching this on Twitch live on a Monday night, thank you. And you know we're on Twitch. As Snug Radio, we're everywhere. As Snug Radio, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Snug Radio. We're all over the place. Um, Nutty Cluster, moderator extraordinaire, has a design shop. She's called Ink Inspiration at Redbubble. I'm called Glorious Idiot at Redbubble. Um, check us out. Why not? What, 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 what hurt could it do you? Check it out. You might find something you want to buy. I think between the two of us, we've got a lot of things covered. So, uh, check them out. Um, I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Uh, so, before I have another coffee fit, I would just like to say thank you all for joining us. Uh, we'll be back at the same time, same place and next week. I've been Matt. This has been Stug Radio's Retro Lounge. Play something retro. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>